Molokai continues to grapple with an outbreak of bovine tuberculosis. The island-wide quarantine for livestock remains in effect. Jen Boniza follows up with what additional steps are being taken to contain the spread. There are around 200 cattle in this herd alone and another 600 here at Kualoa Ranch on Oahu. I'm told that if bovine TB were to spread outside of Molokai, it could be devastating for the cattle industry. It's very serious. One is because you put a black eye over the uh, ranching industry here in Molokai. <laughs> The first cases were found between June of 2021 and March of this year. In that time, at least 242 animals have been put down from six different herds in central and west Molokai. 21 animals tested positive so far. Molokai only counts for a small percentage of the state's local supply of beef, but every little bit counts because raising cattle is costly and takes years till they are ready to harvest. When you look at um, the state of, of ranching, when you look at the state of food production, agriculture in general, margins are small and, and challenges are large. And so any sort of impact, whether small, large, or even you know something that uh, may even be on another island, can always kind of have that ripple effect that I think we need to be very concerned about. In April, the state veterinary program manager for animal disease control said this is the worst outbreak he's seen in decades. Bovine TB is considered endemic on Molokai after several large outbreaks on the east side of the island in the 1940s, 80s and 90s. The state ag department says DLNR will start assisting in the collection of wild game samples to ensure it hasn't spread to Molokai's axis deer population. Testing of small herds is ongoing and they will destroy all infected animals and those in close contact to prevent tainted meat from entering the food chain. Senator DeCoit says the health department will be offering TB tests during a community meeting on May 25th since bovine tuberculosis can be transmitted to humans. Jen Boniza, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.